There she is. That's what all the fuss is about, oil. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? Oil, coming up out of the ground to make life a bit more easy for all of us. The United States is the world's largest consumer of fossil fuels. Oil is what drives the military machine of every country. That is, it provides the fuel for the aircraft, for the ships, for the tanks, for the trucks. Control of oil is indispensable. When you run out of it, your army stops. There is a direct connection between events that happened more than 50 years ago and the war in Iraq today. In 1953, the Prime Minister of Iran, Mohammad Mossadegh, became extremely irritated. The British were ripping off his country's national resources. He wanted a greater share in it. The British came to the new President Eisenhower and asked for help on this. Eisenhower very conveniently declared Mossadegh to be a communist, and we then set the CIA to uh, overthrow him. Three days of bloody rioting culminating in a military coup. The result was we brought the Shah to power and he created an extremely repressive regime that within 20 years had led to a revolution against him. The Ayatollah Khomeini creates a government that is violently anti-American. For Americans shot up the whole Khomeini said, quote, I pray to God to cut the hands off all those foreign advisors. In the after action report by the CIA on what they had done in Iran in 1953, they said, we're going to get some blowback from this. We then made a puppet out of Saddam Hussein in Iraq, who was a friend of ours. He was an asset in the CIA's computers. We did so because he was anti-Iranian. He was very fearful that the revolution in Iran would spread into his country. He therefore went to war with Iran. The war was extremely bloody, went on throughout the 1980s. Unfortunately for Saddam Hussein, he began to lose the war. At that point, in comes the United States in the form of Donald Rumsfeld, sent to Saddam Hussein by President Reagan to tell him, we will supply you with intelligence, we will supply you with the weapons you may need through covert means. It is why cynics in Washington say, we know Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction, we have the receipts. This is what we mean by blowback. He remained a friend of ours right up to his invasion in the summer of 1990 of Kuwait. We became alarmed when he invaded Kuwait that he could also go on and invade Saudi Arabia itself. The largest reserves of oil on Earth. We stationed troops in Saudi Arabia. It was a mistake in every sense of the term. Remember, Osama bin Laden had said, I resent the government of Saudi Arabia for using Americans to defend Saudi Arabia against Iraq. At that point, we began to fear that we were going to lose our position in Saudi Arabia. Well, the second largest source of proven reserves on Earth are in Iraq. This leads us now to demonize our previous ally and to prepare the American public for the thought that we must take him out. 